Since the first episode aired, The Idol, also known as the most divisive series of 2023, has been put through hell. Viewers are giving the show a lot of unfavorable feedback, and one of the main reasons why is that they don't like the scenes. We don't need to speculate as to why there won't be a season 2 of this. Not only is the show being criticized, but also every single person involved in it, including Lily, Weekend, and Sam Levinson, the man responsible for this masterpiece's creation. Jenny Kim, however, received more abuse than anyone else. So let's dig into what's actually going on with the idol and the real reason why Jenny is being criticized for being a part of it. The show's first director wasn't Sam. All of the episodes of HBO's The Idol were going to be directed by Amy Samitz, who also created the Girlfriend Experience series. Samitz abruptly left the six-episode series while about 80% of it had already been completed, according to a Rolling Stone piece on the subject. The Idol co-creator Abel Tesfaye, also known as The Weeknd, allegedly sacked Amy because he thought the program was leaning too heavily towards a female perspective. If you didn't know, the program was meant to be about how the people in the business take advantage of female artists. When Pop Bass claimed that Jenny would be appearing on a show produced by The Weeknd and Sam Levinson in June of last year, the rumor of the forthcoming program The Idol got its start. The cast also includes well-known performers including Lily Rose Deb, Troy Sivan, Rachel Sennett, and The Weeknd. Not to mention that HBO produced the program, which raised expectations. Everything in the original story, including the cast, seemed terrific. Lily is the main character who portrays the young female pop star that gets involved with the cult leader, The Weeknd, and Jenny is Dane, the close friend and, according to sources, a villain. And everyone was literally so excited. And then Sam Levinson became the director of the show and made the show more about the seedy, toxic romance between her character and The Weeknd. And interestingly, reportedly, many people are saying that Jenny was cast after Levinson and Weekend fired the female director. In her interview, she said, I've been a fan of all his work. We got to meet and talk about the possibilities of me being in the show, and it worked out magically. She also added, the thing is, it was definitely not planned. I've had a dream of acting in the future, as I was doing so many different parts already as an artist, so I've always wondered what it would be like. But the opportunity just came to me so naturally one day. And I just knew that it was something that I would regret if I didn't go for it. And nobody knows why Jenny is just so obsessed with Sam. In her interview, she really said that. I had many conversations with Sam in the weekend, and I think that helped me. And they just made sure that I didn't have to be so nervous about things. However, after watching a few episodes, Jenny's role in the show is kinda just to sit there and look pretty. She dances, has a maximum of two to three lines, and then she's just there. And it looks like Sam Levinson just told her to smile and look pretty. And because of this, people are saying that Sam is using Jenny for clout, and we know she got a big fan base, so promoting a shit show which has a famous K pop artist will be easy for them. But yeah, we get it. The idol is not getting posting reviews from anyone and definitely not from Korean citizens. Since South Korea is a kinda conservative country and people like their idols to portray a certain personality, the criticism is just so blunt. And honestly, international fans aren't very happy either with Jenny choosing this show as her acting debut. In conclusion, people have the right to criticize the show and cast, but holding Jenny accountable and only her, not the director Sam and creator Weekend, isn't right. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. And please subscribe to the channel for more videos.